guys welcome back to my channel it's another yummy episode and as you can see on your screen right now we'll be making fish pepper soup very delicious one oh so hang on let me show you how i made this okay so first in my pot i've washed the catfish i'll be using for this uh pepper soup you can use any uh nice fish of your choice croaker just any like kind of catfish of your choice wherever you are if you can't find catfish you can use red snapper for instance so and next i'm going to be preparing my spices here i'm just going in to chop up my peppers yeah if you have a mortar please pound it but if not you have to engage your cutting skills and cut them into very tiny 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 pieces like you can see me do here okay so cut the onions as well and my scent leaves are dry so i've soaked it in hot water and it became a little soft so i cut up a little bit of it another important thing is a blend of fresh ginger and crayfish i blended mine the night before reason it looks a little dark it's okay so i have paprika powder seasoning cube and this pepper soup spice from nigeria so to begin with i like to turn on this kettle so the water could boil you need boiled water like boiling water to start cooking your fish with otherwise it's going to scatter as you cook okay so in the pot i'm going to add the seasoning cube right now and i'll add the blended crayfish and the fresh ginger and then i added the uh the sliced up peppers onions and uh, the scent leaf i'm adding the scent leaf now because i'm using the dry one if you have the fresh one then you might wait a little bit later to add it okay so and i'm adding this all right now because fish takes not more than 10 12 minutes to cook okay so you want we want the fish to get all the spices in it from the onset so add water up until the height of the fish and then you go in now to add the pepper soup spices i'm not sure how much a sachet of this contains so i decided to measure it out with a spoon here i'm adding about a teaspoon and a little bit more if it's the first time coming across my channel thank you so much please hit the subscribe button and click on the like button it encourages us creators thank you so much so once the pepper soup spices are in cover the pot to come to a boil it starts to boil immediately because i poured in hot water like already boiling water and you will notice i've i've not added any salt i want this to come to a boil then i will taste this to see if i really need to add salt okay if you want to have a great pepper soup you have to be really really careful with salt okay so now that it has boiled really well i'm going to taste and see how much salt i'll be adding at the end of the day okay so i'll go in now and add a hint of paprika powder guys this paprika powder is serving as what uh, others do with palm oil okay you can choose to put about a teaspoon a teaspoon or tablespoon of palm oil but paprika powder is doing the magic for me okay so and i sprinkled in a little bit of salt because i had tasted and i needed some so remember you taste as you cook so i allowed it to boil again for an additional four minutes and uh, here is what it's looking like i'm going to go in again and taste and when you are making fish pepper soup please be careful you want to use a spoon that is not so harsh on the fish like what i have in my hand right now okay so the taste is just perfect oh i kept tasting and tasting and tasting <laughs> that is how some people finish the food before it's done okay so at this point it's the perfect time to add our otazi leaves these leaves do wonders to your pepper soup okay if you don't have it you can make do with um basil leaves but otazi is the best for me yeah and you can picture the color of the soup right now that is the essence of the paprika powder the same thing palm oil will do for you it kind of brightens the soup up a little bit just a little bit yeah so at this point the soup is almost ready i'm just going to stir that in and uh, 
take down my temperature like take down the heat and allow it to simmer slowly for another three four minutes let me quickly use this opportunity to thank all of you all my subscribers and viewers you guys are too much thank you so much our soup is ready and you can go ahead to serve this with yam you can serve it with potatoes with plantain with rice today is sunday so we had this with rice the proper niger way okay <laughs> yeah well you can definitely freestyle thank you guys so much and i will see you in my next video Bye-bye.